Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've been getting a few requests from people who are not sure how to list a product on Amazon that has variations. So we're talking about, say, t-shirts, you know, blue, white, black, large, medium, small, etc. Anything like that that has variations to it, or um, it's basically the same product but has variations. So I'm going to do a short little video here and hopefully clarify and help you out with that. First thing you want to do is make sure you have everything ready to go. So I'll click through a few things here. Here is my product description, my UPC, there's the title, my bullet points, and then the general description, and then it's down here, the bullet points I've converted into HTML to make them look super sexy, and the same with the descriptions. If you're not sure how to do that, I'll post the links to these sites um, in the comments, um, but there's a few pages I've got here that will help you out. This one talks about what HTML coding you can use on Amazon. And if you don't know anything about HTML or what it is or how to use it, do not panic. It's not that hard. You come across to this page here and you can, without any experience or knowledge, be able to play around with your product descriptions to make it look good so here we change this to my product description and we'll put a bold tag on it so we start it and finish the HTML code for bold which is the B in the uh, little brackets here hit run and bang you can see what it's done there we want to underline it you can do the same thing with a U and we'll close the bracket as well and hit run so it's now underlined so you do what you need to do to, in this page here to make it look cool and then just copy and paste into your word document which is what I have done here uh, and you can see this other funny little code at the beginning here that is to put some arrows at the front of it and if we go to this page here this is all your HTML codes for arrows so you can pick whichever one you want down the side here I'm trying to remember which one I've used I don't remember we'll find out in a minute but you pick the arrow you want to use for argument's sake we want to use this 8649 <coughs> excuse me so we go back to here and we put in here you do a little and oops not dollar and 8649 and a space is that right yeah no it's not hang on we'll go back and get this code again which one is it 8649 oh and hash sorry and hash 8649 that should work now there it is and now we've got the little two little arrows next to it we'll get rid of that underline tag uh, html so it's a bit clearer hit run again and bang there we have two little arrows to my product description which is in bold so you copy and paste that into your Word document, ready to go as you create your product. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I'll post a link to these three pages. I use them all the time. Very, very handy. Here's uh, my product photos ready to go and my description. So we, I've logged into my Amazon seller account. First thing you do, I've gone into um, inventory, add a product, and start off here, put in the UPC code, do a search, it'll come up with nothing, So, yep, it is not in Amazon's catalog, create a new product listing, which is what we want to do. 
Now, here, what I am doing is a dog birthday cake. And you can do it this way with the find category here. Pet supplies. Chew toys, squeak toys, hats, apparel, snacks, cookies, or dresses. Probably snacks. And then you go through and fill all this in. And this is where people tend to make a mistake. Do not click save and finish until you've gone through each and every one of these tabs. So I'll just do this. Okay, I realised it was going to take quite a bit of time and be very, very boring for anyone watching to see me go through and enter all the data for my product listing, but I will go through each of the tabs and explain what it is and what I've done and how you can do it as well. So we start off in the vital info, manufacturer, brand name, and product name or product title. This is what you'll see at the top, and you can see here, at the moment it's saying max of 250 characters. I've had a couple recently where it's defaulted to 200. So it depends on your category, but at the moment I could do 250 category characters here if I want to. You can see there again, I've just followed the training that's in the AOE and my keyword optimized product title is in the, the product name. Variations, this is the main thing I want to show people. Start off with, up here you've got a variation theme which you have to pick, this one I've done on flavor. And depending on what you pick as to what options you get. So with flavor, I just had to come down here and enter the flavor. So I have carob and yogurt. So I hit type in carob, hit enter, another box popped up, put yogurt. Then he clicked on add variations and then it populates this screen, this section or table here. So this is your head product at the top row in the grey, which you complete. I'm assuming everyone's condition will be new. The price, the quantity, and then your UPC codes or barcodes for each of your products. You can see this is the carob one and this is the yogurt one. Yogurt is for American spelling, so it pops up on all there searches and then the seller SK uh, SKUs mine is DBC as in dog birthday cake and CAR for carob and yog for yogurt then we go to the actual offer which is for the shipping I'm doing FBM or fulfilled by merchant and it defaults from my seller account shipping default which is what I've got it set at at the moment with this particular account if you're doing FBA, obviously, you would tick that one. Images, I uh, haven't got anything too sexy on these. I've got my five images. They've been done correctly. They've all got the white plain backgrounds. I've had to edit them. I'm going to get some action shots going forward, but for the time being, this will do for the tutorial. Then the description, this is where your key product features is your bullet points. And you can see mine here with the HTML in it, so bold, uh, my arrows at the beginning, and then your product description down the bottom here. Again, I've got the HTML, the bold, and then the uh, line breaks to space it apart. Keywords, self-explanatory, search terms, intended use, and target audience. Depending on what category you're in, you'll get different drop downs that you can pick for these. Um, you can pick more, you can pick less. So I'm just going to change something here. I just realized I'm going to one per line. I'm always uh, having to double check everything you do. Suggest you do the same. So intended use, chewing and dental. I could add more there if I wanted to. You can see here you get the drop down. Uh, chewing and dental, we'll put down, what else can we put in? Growth and performance, we'll pick that one. Target audience can stay as it is. And then the more details tab, 
Again, you can add a few additional features here, price, your target audience, etc., etc. Then and only then, once you've gone through and completed the information in each of these tabs, and you've got, if when you don't have it completed, you'll have little red triangles or something here to indicate that you haven't completed it properly. Once you have, then you click this big orange save and finish, not beforehand. So do a double, triple check, make sure you've got everything right. And then hit save and finish and your variation listing or your product with your different variations should now be live and you'll get that message which is pretty cool and that's what we want to see congratulations your product is now listed for sale on amazon it can take up to a quarter of an hour and it generally does but hopefully that will give everyone an idea of how to do this including my little secret tricks with the HTML editor, the arrows for your bullet points, and I'll put all the, as I said, I'll put all these descriptions uh, below the video. And this one just giving you a bit of an idea of what you can and can't do with HTML coding on Amazon. Make sure you have everything ready to go, all your descriptions, all your HTML coding, everything ready to rock and roll and that will make the system and the process much, much simpler. Hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it helps you out and uh, talk again soon. Cheers. <music>